Welcome to Hobby Life, episode 18, everyone. It's your host, Brody the Kid. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you to our sponsors, Southern Hobby Supply and Beckett Media. Today, we are having on OG Hobby Squad member, Chris Keller from Top Shelf Breaks. We also have a great product review with three different things today. We've got the Walgreens exclusive Prime Pack. That'll be fun to do. Contenders Draft Blaster. And from update mega box, so that's going to be a lot of fun. We have some fun giveaways in the live chat, so make sure you watch the whole show and are tuning in. Also, I just wanted to mention my new blog at bigleaguebreaks.com. Rip with Brody the Kid is up, and I interviewed John Newman from Sports Car Nation podcast and Hobby Hotline. As remember, I told you guys last week or last show that I and part of Hobby Hotline now. So really awesome. Make sure you go and check that out. All right. It's going to be a fun show. Are you guys ready? I said, are you ready? No, really, are you ready? All right, everyone. It is time for Product Rip Review. We are changing it to Product Rip Review because you know I love ripping things. So we're going to start off with our 2020 Contenders Giraffe Picks Football Box. You get it at Target or Walmart. These are 20 bucks. You get two autos, which is pretty nice. Um, 42 total cards, uh, seven packs, six cards per pack. Look for the Blaster exclusive blue foils and the iconic correct dice. Um, yeah, if you find these, it's, it's they're hard to find, but if you find them, I would definitely pick them up because you get two autos. Um, resale market, though, I think they're like... 35 or 40 bucks ish. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think there's something about that. All right, here's our packs. Joey B on the front. Gonna be starting tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty cool to see him play his first game. The only rookie QB starting. Unless, like, Tyler Taylor gets the flu or something. All righty. It's gonna be so cool to see football back. So we got Kyler Murray. I'm really excited to see him play for the Cardinals this year because I think he's going to play really well. Preston Williams, he was doing solid until he got hurt. Gardner Minshew, all sophomores in that first pack. We got uh, Jacob Eason, Legacy. That's pretty cool. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia quarterback. Then we have Stefan Diggs and Jimmy G. Stefan Diggs just joined the Buffalo Bills. Be interesting to see how he does with them. Come on, Pax, cooperate. <laughs> we got Tony Pollard. Um, it'll be him and Zeke. Be cool. Man, we're getting a lot of sophomore guys. Julio Jones. Chris Carson. We have a game day ticket of Brendan Ayuk. If I miss any, like, those parallels, because sometimes it's a little hard to tell, just let me know in the live chat or in the comments. Baker Mayfield. It's cool. I'm um, excited to see how he does in his third year. And Marquise Brown. Yeah, I'm excited for the sophomores and the rookies. And like I said, Baker, Lamar, fun to see those guys. I'm excited to watch Nick Chubb, my boy, play. Miko Hartman Jr., that's a good one. He was pretty good. Debo, I like that. He was playing pretty well. Ronald Jones, we have our first auto here, and it is up. Justin Sternad from Wake Forest. Not 100% sure on this guy. I like the auto setup, though. I'll, uh, I'll look him up, see how he is. We've got Darius Slayton, who actually was playing pretty well last year for the Giants, Peyton Manning. I forget if he, I think he might have gotten hurt. So it'd be cool to see him play. Really excited to watch the Bears and Raiders this year. Raider Nation. All right, Irv Smith Jr., another sophomore. Uh, A.J. Brown, another sophomore. Man, we're getting a lot of sophomore. Here's one of those blue of James Washington, who I believe is going into his third year. Then we have Collegiate Connections of Jalen Hurts and Tua. I like that card. They're, they both have potential. Haskins and, and McLaurin, the Washington football team duo, both from Ohio State. I like that. 
and is asking if those names start over Alex Smith. But I think Alex Smith might have end up going to another team and having a nice end of his career. I like that Jalen and Tua card, though, because I'm sure Tua will play eventually. Just got to keep getting back from his injury. And then I think if Wentz gets hurt or something, I think – or even just, like, every now and then plays for Hurts, I think – with his running skills, I think they'll be good. Jerry Judy, draft class 2020. He was a great at Alabama, as well as Henry Ruggs. Brett Favre and Josh Allen. Yeah, Josh Allen, we'll see if any shot at Jake Fromm playing this year. If Allen gets hurt or if he gets benched, never know. We got Sam Darnold, Jared Goff, Alvin Kamara, and Khalid Kareem. Auto from Oh, full ticket. Nice. It's a 99. Oh, it's one of the – it's 69 and 99 or 66 of 69. So it can go either way. But the full tickets are to 99. So it's a cool card. Nice little foil to it. I like that. From Notre Dame. And, yes, I know it's Notre Dame. Deontay Johnson and Sony Michelle. Deontay Johnson and Juju Smith-Schuster I think is a pretty good wide receiver duo there at, with the Steelers. Alrighty, we got Mark Andrews, Dalvin Cook, OBJ, game day ticket Cam Akers, Jerry Rice, and Austin Eckler. So that was a fun little rip. Got two autos and then numbered one. Let's move on with the show. All right, everyone. Now, please welcome to the show OG Hobby Squad member CK. What's up? What's up, man? OG Hobby Squad, huh? I'm old. Yeah, Is that what that means? Old guy. What's up? You've been here since like episode three, your original. That's right, buddy. How goes it? Very good. How are you? Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Waiting for football to start. Waiting for football to start this weekend. Yes, indeed. It's going to be awesome. We're going to watch the Bears probably lose. Well, I mean, they are playing the Lions, so. <laughs> Got a shot, right? Yeah. It's not like they're playing like the Saints or something. Then it's just automatic Bears lose. Instantly. <laughs> How's school going? How are you doing? Are you still keeping track of your hobby world and school and everything? Yeah, doing the best I can. It's tough, but making okay. it work. Um, Good. Let's just – I wanted to talk – you're a big WWE fan, so I want to talk I am. about very soon coming out WWE Undisputed. So what do you think of that stuff coming out very soon? Yeah, Undisputed is uh, – they started that a couple years ago. In fact, I remember opening that up back when I was doing breaks out of the basement – um, I think they do uh, 10 boxes per case. I mean, 10 packs per case or per box, eight autos and two. I think it's great. It's on-card autos. It's a great place to showcase the rookies. They put a lot of the brand new um, athletes in there and people that they're pushing. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, it's packs are like 20 bucks and you're eight times out of 10 going to get an auto. Yeah, and the other two are going to be jerseys or memorabilia pieces or something. And wrestling, if you get the right person, man, they sell for a lot. The bigger guys and stuff. Yeah, they do. I mean, uh, and I don't know if you saw, you maybe not have looked this far into the calendar, but it's called Fully Loaded, I think. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks like that's a one hit per box kind yeah, of thing. one card. One it, card, yeah. It's like a luminaries, one card, encased, patch auto. But I don't think it's as expensive – yeah, as, it's like 55 bucks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I can't figure out. It's one card, one auto, one item for $55. So that's good, Tops. We like that instead of making yeah. it like, oh, it's $186. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, fully loaded, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I think that that's a great, like, random hit break since it's so cheap, especially, too. Yeah. You like wrestling? Yeah, I love wrestling. You do? <laughs> Would you like to split this with me right now and see what we get? Oh my goodness, what is that? This is the Leaf Ultimate Wrestling, dude. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. This is the great thing about your producer. Zero information about what we're doing, what we're going to do. So we're going to open this up real quick. All right, let's see and, what we get. Right and on we're going to hit. We're, we're going to hit draft this bad boy. I'll show you how to be prepared, producer lady. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cool. All right, so first up, I don't have my main camera, but I can show. Whoa, there's something. What the heck? Don't make me make you dance, Chris. Yeah, no dancing. Okay, so that's Brian Pillman Jr. Brian Pillman. Yep. 
I have a tiny little, my monitor looks like this, but I think you can see it on full screen. Yeah, I can see it. Check this out, Brody. What in the name of all heck is this freaking thing? Okay, so this Brian Pillman is, uh, is a base auto, but this thing is the Liger. Two of two. Juice and Liger. Two. Whoa, yeah. that is sick. Yeah. <laughs> a clear cut one. Holy crap! Are you serious? Come on! I can't you know who that is? That's Brother Love. Oh, wow. Brother Love? Wow. Okay, the Yushin. Wait a minute. Oh, I said over here. We already did that one. Wait, who's that dude? Okay. Here we go. Honky Tonk Man. Oh, that's cool. Brother Love was to 25. Nice. Here's a dual auto of the Barbarian and Warlord. Oh, dual autos. I like that. And what in wow. the name... Hulk Hogan! Hulk Hogan, I oh, swear God. to God. Promise, dude. Brand new box. <laughs> six. Six of ten. Holy cow. That's awesome. Six of ten. Oh. Hulk freaking Hogan. That wow. Awesome. Now that's good stuff. So now oh, we have to determine American. who gets the first pick, Brody. All right, I'm going to run this real quick on the randomizer. You can't see it, but it oh is what it is. I have a feeling you're going to lie so you get that Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I already got one. All right, here we go. So I will just put in Brody on top. Okay. No, me, because it was my idea. The person whose idea it was always goes on. So we're doing this live on the fly. I hope producer lady's not mad at me. She's probably freaking out, ticked off at me. put me in the randomizer. Are you mad? All right, so. All right, it says eight times, bro. All right. I'll take a screenshot of this for you. Okay. Even though I don't, even though I don't have to, but. So there's Brody on top, and then CK. CK wins! How about that? <laughs> there it is. Shocking. <laughs> All right, I believe you. You got it. Hey, so in the randomizer, you can go. It's a verified randomizer. You'll, you'll see it on the actual random.org. Right. So, oh, my God, I got another Hogan Auto to 10. What are the chances? God, Lord. All right, so who do you want? You want this Barbarian Warlord duel? There's Brian Pillman Jr. There's Brother Love to 25. The two, number the two clear-cut thingy. And the Honky Tonk Man. And you get two of them because you got the second pick, and then it comes back oh, to me. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. So, I yeah, this is that. a good card. Number to two, this clear-cut. Yeah, that uh, one Justin, and the Brotherly Love will go in, with. In Brotherly brother Love, he's dope. Okay. Okay, so that's Brody's. Okay, so, wow, that's pretty dope. Kind of wish you would have won that, Brody, but I got to stick to the rules, man. It's a randomizer. determines I get it. So here's a dual auto, the Barbarian and the Warlord. That's three of three, Brody. Oh, wow. But guess what I'm going to take? Okay. I am going now. I, I'm going to take the honky tonk man. Okay. Because he's friends with Hogan, so they stick together. <laughs> and I'm going to take. All right, I'll leave you this dual auto because I like you. Oh, that's I'll take this. UCK. There you go. So you got the barbarian and the warlord. Three of three. Nice. Three of. Three. Freaking love it. Sick. So that's the case. That's still the boxes from the night we opened them with John Story. I don't know if you were on that night, but it was late, and that's oh, the Hulk. That was the Hulk Hogan night stuff that came out of there. One? So yeah, he got the five? printing plate. Oh. But this is from that same case. So apparently there was another Hogan floating around. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Well, All that right. So I'm sorry. Awesome. All right. That was impromptu. All right. Here we go. Back to your thing. Time to play the game show called. Hold, sell, or buy. Okay, okay. So we don't have to do any dances in this one, all right? All right, man, thanks. I like this game. This is cool. Okay, so hold, sell, buy. Basically, I'm going to give you some players, and you're going to tell me if you think you should sell them, thinking you can get good money for them now, or you think they're going to be scrubs in three years and you don't think okay. they're good. Uh, hold, thinking you're not 100% sure on them yet, but you think they might have potential, and buy me and, like, he's the next Tom Brady. Buy him up, buy him up, buy him up. I hope these are all football because I'm really good at this in football. But it's, well, it's not two from each sport. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. All right. I'm going to start off with Mike Trout. Mike. Trout. Wow. See, that's tricky because um, 
Mike Trout is not cheap to buy right now. Uh, you certainly don't really want to be selling the Mike Trouts in case, oh, you know, unless okay. you really, unless you have to. So I would say hold on to, hang on to all your Mike Trouts. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd probably be about that too. Number two, Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. Is he a brave or he was a brave at some yeah, point, he, right? He was in the same rookie class 2018 as Acuna. And I'm going to state my opinion. Yeah. I would buy him up like crazy because he gets undervalued because of Acuna. Okay. So he's playing what they call second fiddle to Acuna. Now, for me, what tips off the radar for me is when throughout the day I'm watching Sports Center, checking social media, and I see somebody trending a lot. I don't see Ozzy Albies trending a lot. So that could lead to two things. If you dig deeper and find out that the kid is actually really, really good and you see some good stats and he's buried behind Acuna, like you said, I would say I would buy him up. Yeah. All right. We're going to go – well, I did have football next, but we'll, we'll, we'll do football at the end, and we're going to do basketball first. Okay. We're going to start with LeBron James. <laughs> oh, LeBron James. <laughs> I don't have many cards, but I do have one dope LeBron James. It's a PSA 9 tops rookie. Oh, wow. And so I'm, I'm in the exact situation you're, in, you're asking. If and when should he go all the way to the finals and win, do I then sell that card? Because it'll probably be a $2,200, $2,300 card. Yeah. Or do I just hang on to it forever and wait and see what happens? So what I'm going to do is probably be a seller of my LeBron stuff should he advance to the next round and I'm out. I'm just going to take that money and be out. Okay. I mm -hmm. agree. I'm not saying he's bad, he's, but it's like if it comes down to it and you're sitting on a mountain of stuff – and right. you want to try to maximize it, it's tough to think, you know, four or five months from now, unless you're going to hold it for years. Years? Hold yeah. LeBron. You want fast money? Sell him. Yeah, I don't really have anything too crazy LeBron. I, mean, I think of my best LeBron's probably last year's – or this year's Prism Silver, which is yeah. like a Ooh. pretty dope card, but it's centering. Yeah, Prism I mean, those, here, man. those, oh. those Prisms went crazy this year. Yeah, the, the, the prism, Regular Prism LeBron's. My four best cards from Prism. I opened a pretty good amount of it. Two Zion rookies. One of them was off center, and the other one was okay, not BGS ten, but not too right. bad. And then little bronze silver off center. John oh. Frank silver off center. It's like really. Well, that's why they're so valuable because they're yeah. hard to find if you get, in that in that good condition. Yeah. Zion PSA ten. It's a nice mm -hmm. card. All right, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Oh, is he a Celtic? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'd probably be a buyer of him. He's a – he's – I'd, I'd buy up Jason Tatum's because I don't think that they're going to be ridiculously expensive right now without looking. I'm sure there's some fancy rookie card of his that's thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. But in general, I don't think Jason Tatum is breaking the bank to try to buy him right now. And he's got a lot of years ahead of him. So I'd probably be buying Jason Tatum right now. Yeah, and they, they might go to the finals. Looks yeah. Like they're be playing the Heat. In the East. I think they've got, they've got three games won. I forget how many uh, Raptors have, but I think they'll be there. Yeah, the Celtics been hanging around, as they say. Yeah. So I, I'd buy him up, sure. All right, time for some football. Let's go. <laughs> Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Well – you know, I probably would still – I think you can still buy Lamar Jackson. And so I would probably be a buy on Lamar, provided your budget allows you to do so. so if you can find certain maybe entry-level products, rookies, certainly would be a buy because as I predicted, and I'm sticking with it and I'm saying it on your show, I do believe they will be AFC champions this coming season. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Over my homes. I went to a garage yep. sale and I bought a Lamar Jackson score rookie – for three bucks. What? I mean, don't score, but Lamar Jackson rookie, three bucks? Well, that's what I'm saying. If you can find those those yeah. type of uh, rookies of Lamar Jackson, I'd be buying them up all day long, yeah. All right, and I think I have an idea of what you're going to answer for this one. Jalen Hurts. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Jalen Hurts is a buy, 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 your, buy his cards up. Uh, Jalen, you know, I, I – Got wind of Jalen a year or two ago, and they did a special on him on a Saturday afternoon about his, his journey through, through the college football and the teams and what he's done. I just like the kid. I like his talent. He's truly gifted, talented player. I think he's a little bit smaller. But talk about a guy who's getting lost behind a bunch of guys. You know, Jalen's like 
kind of down on the ladder a little bit, but I don't think it takes away from his talent. I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. It's going to take something weird to happen to Carson Wentz for him to get a shot. So when that happens, I think he will shine. And hopefully if you're buying Jalen Hurts right now, uh, you'll be in a good position to have some cards worth some value. Yeah, I definitely agree, especially if like Wentz gets hurt. I think he'd come in and play really well. You like Jalen? Yeah. Yeah, he's cool, man. He's he's a good player. He's really good. Yeah. All right. Before you go, CK. Yeah. Just wanted to do this real quick. So, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, I have right here in my hand tonight's top five list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, tonight's top five list is the top five reasons to do a break with Top Shelf Breaks. Wow, cool. All right. Number five, music. It's like a concert. DJ CK in the house. Yeah. Whoop. We are rocking it out every night. Number four. Never know when he will break out and do the robot. Come on, show us right now. Do it. I know you, we said no dancing, but too bad. And that even had sound effects. So there you go. You're welcome. You're welcome very much. Number three, good times, good friends, good chicken wings. Good chicken wings. Wait, what? Sorry about that. That was my Buffalo Wild Wings list. My bad. <laughs> okay. Number two, Friday night frozen breaks. Didn't Keenan last week pull an Elsa and Anna one on one to water? It was a what? A what? An Elsa and Anna dual. Oh auto yeah, those are, those are huge frozen breaks. Yes, yeah. it was a dual auto of Elsa and they're, they're and hot or hot right now. Man, dude, those frozen breaks are freaking great with TriStar. Love getting that stuff. And the number one reason you should do a break with TSB CK is an awesome dude, and he is a ten-time state moonwalk champion. Yes, I am. I hope to get to national someday. I got to get out of the States, but that's pretty good. That was All a good right. list. That was tonight's top five list with Brody the Kid. So thanks again, CK, OG Hobby Squad member, pulling the American Dream autos live on air. Out of nowhere. <laughs> that's good <laughs> stuff. All right, guys, have a good night. Thank you for having me. To Peace out. Out. Yeah. All right, everyone, we're back with not more product rip review. We are now going to be doing – this 2019 Chrome update box. These are pretty big. Um, they were originally 1999, but they're like 85 or 90 now. They're pretty expensive because you can hit autos of Vladdy and Alonzo, Tatis. Um, oh, who am I missing? Eloy. Who was missing? One of the big four. They cast in Hero. There's a lot of good names you can get in here. Um, I think it's about one in five boxes for an auto ish i i think it'd be cool if they did tops chrome update hobby and hobby and hobby jungle um it's always been retail only but i think that'd be cool just so you have those guaranteed autos all right so we're in at seven packs of four cards so yeah let's get into this and see if we find anything Pedro Avella, Avila, rookie, CJ Chrome, Adam Adovino, and the family business, Mariano Rivera. I like those inserts from Chrome Update last year. They were cool. And you could get auto versions of them. They were pretty rare. I think, I think it says in the back. They were like 1 in 49,840, which is three times harder to find than a regular Super Fractor. And that's the same odds as finding an autograph superfractor. So your odds are pretty slow. Because obviously superfractors are one of ones. Here's a Carter Keyboom rookie debut. I like that one. Carlos Santana. Mike Trout All-Star Game. And Josh Bell All-Star Game. All right. All right, Matt Chapman All-Star Game. Shane, Justin Bieber, who many people are saying is going to win Cy Young. 
and might even win MVP. But Jose Abreu has got the shot, too. There's Griffin Canny and Jackie Robinson greatest moments. Those are pretty cool, too. Yeah, so I like Chrome Update. We've got the rookie debuts as Chrome, and we've got the All-Star game card as Chrome. I like it. We've got Nicky Lopez rookie. Oh, man. Darwin Zahn Hernandez rookie. Ryan Helsley and Domingo Santana. All right, three packs left. Come on. Something good, man. Josh Donaldson, uh, Corbin Martin, Ricky, Nolan Arenado, and Family Business, Roberto Olimar. Man, we need something good here, guys. These things are expensive. Oh, I like that one. Keston here on the back. Christian Yelich, All-Star, Castillo All-Star, David Dalt, and Keston Hira, rookie. All right, I'll take it. So not bad. I like that card. Let's see if we can get one of the big four in this last pack. It'd be pretty awesome if I can get the pack open. Come on. Estrada rookie. Carter Keyboom rookie. We got the rookie debut earlier. I'll take that. Edwin Diaz and Greatest Moments. Nolan Ryan. All righty. So that was fun. I like that cast in here, huh? These are pretty risky, but the cards look really cool. So I'm sure they'll do it this year. Hopefully you can find them at your target. So on with the show, guys. Let's go! It's time to give away the final spot in the Brody the Kid Kids Break. It's going to be fun. It's going to be live. It's going to be filled with entertainment and giveaways. You are not going to want to miss it. So here is how you enter to win the final spot. Number one, go to Brody the Kid one on Instagram. Number two, follow me, which I'm pretty sure most of you already do. And number three, like the Brody the Kid Kids Bright post and leave a comment with your name or a kid you're entering. Silly parents, this is for kids. All right, everyone, winners will be announced next Saturday. Good luck! All right, everyone, another product review here. We have the Fairfield prime pack these are walgreens exclusive you get this is by, done by the fairfield company i'm sure a lot of you guys know them from doing some repacking and retail them and mj holding company which a lot of people think that fairfield is the better one so in here you get one hobby pack two packs plus bonus card you can only find these at walgreens so i think that's kind of cool and these are 8.99 so not a break in break in the bank at all as Fairfield really loves to glue their stuff, man. They really love to glue their stuff as I try to get this box open. One of these repacks are like impossible to get. All right, I got in there. All right, so we have a 2015 Topps Marcus Mariota. That's a rookie, isn't it? I thought that was his rookie year. Yeah, that's a rookie. Okay. Not in the greatest shape, but still cool. I don't know why it doesn't have the rookie logo, because you can look at the back and you can see that the last stats are from the Ducks and um, Mariota was 2015, that's 2015 tops. All right, so we've got 2020 Leaf Draft Football. All right, not the greatest, but at least it's this year, so you can hunt the rookies from this year. I believe this is our hobby pack, 2013 Rookies and Stars, and then 2016 Donruss, that's not too bad. Hunting for uh, Carson Wentz, Zeke, Prescott, Michael Thomas, some other guys too. So yeah, this is fun. Like I said, $8.99 at Walgreens only. Not going to break the bank. So we've got Lynn Bowden Jr., who just got traded from the Raiders. I don't know why they traded him, to be honest. Jordan Love and Kendrick, Kendrick Rogers. All righty, let's do 2013 Rookies and Stars. 
Yeah, this has got to be our hobby pack because I know that Donruss, the hobby version, you're going to have 10 cards per pack, I believe. So, ooh, we got a peanut someone on the back. All righty. We've got Marseille's Lewis, Jacquees Rogers, Eli Man, we've got Crusade, Tom Brady. That's pretty cool. Nice looking card. I like that a lot. Tom Brady, that's very cool. We've got Kenny Vasaro, rookie, Matt Ryan, Drew Brees, and Peanut Tillman. We got Ryan Brees and Brady in some pack. All right, let's end it with 2016 Donruss. Thing on the back. The rookies are on the back, so I don't want to spoil who it was. All right. Shane Beering. These aren't cursive, so sometimes I have a little hard time reading them. Thomas Rawls. Ryan Kerrigan. Aaron Donald. Jonathan Stewart. Kwan Alexander, Blake Bortles, and a rookie is Kendall Fuller. I don't think that's too bad. Redskins rookie. Yeah, so those are pretty fun. Like I said, eight ninety nine to just get three packs to rip. And it says on the box, I forgot to show this. Um, box a little destroyed, but it said, look for randomly inserted high end hobby packs. So get one of those, it's pretty cool. And the thing about this is they show you what packs are in here because. They've got this little window, so you can see what the, because I knew there was a Marcus Mariota card, because you can see through this plastic, and there's this little window. So, yeah, fun. All right, let's go on with the show. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I've got something for you. Did you like that Prime Pack? Well, if you did, boom, I've got one for one of you to win. We have a Fairfield football prime pack, and you guys can win it by being subscribed to Hobby Life and commenting on Hobby Life Show episode 18 saying, Give me that prime pack, BTK. All right, go hunting. That's it. Episode 18 of Hobby Life is in the books. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. It really means a lot. Thank you to our sponsors, Beckham Media and Southern Hobby Supply. And thank you to Chris Keller from Top Show Breaks for tuning in. Remember, you can follow Hobby Life Show on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me, Brody TK, on Twitter, Brody the Kid One on Instagram. You can check my blog out, brand new, like I said before, Rip with Brody the Kid at BigLeagueBreaks.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brody the Kid, as well. So, thank you all for watching again. We have a lot planned for next week. I cannot wait. I will see you all next show. Peace out. Wait. I forgot to tell you. Remember to enter the contest on Instagram for the kids break. Now I really mean this. Peace out.